Welcome to this webinar, which provides insights into transitions with a focus on parents. These insights take account of research and are drawn from inspectors' findings in early learning and care settings, as well as the guidance provided by inspectors to settings to promote improvement. We are presenting this webinar to share some of the really good transition practices that we have observed in early learning and care settings in our inspection program. This will provide some advice on how you can support your child through their early transitions. So what do we mean when we use the word transitions? Most transitions involve minor changes in what we do and where we are. We all experience many transitions every day, going to work, going to a meeting, taking a coffee break, going shopping, visiting a friend or family member, and so on. Sometimes these transitions are a change in activity, sometimes a change of place, and sometimes they are both. What transitions have you and your child experienced already today? We also experience bigger transitions as we move through life. We experience major transitions such as beginning early years education, starting primary school, moving out of home, taking up a new job. As adults, we have control over the frequent minor daily transitions and most of our major life transitions. However, for young children, many decisions about transitions are made for them. Transition is about change and adapting to things being different. We know that young children respond in very individual ways to change and transitions. In this webinar, we will look at some of the education transitions that young children make, and we will discuss some of the ways that you, as a parent, can help your child to engage in these transitions in a positive and enjoyable way. Transitions provide valuable opportunities for your child to develop and learn, both psychologically and socially. ASHTER is the national curriculum framework for children birth to six in Ireland. One of the wellbeing goals in ASHTER is that children will handle transitions and change well. Learning how to adapt to transitions and change is a vitally important life skill. Each child's experience of transitions is unique. Personal characteristics and dispositions, family and cultural background, and previous experience of transition all impact on children's response to transitions. You know your child. You have experienced many transitions with your child, and most likely you have a sense or an understanding of how your child typically responds to minor and major transitions. Some children take change in their stride and others may find it more challenging to adapt. Your knowledge of how your child responds to transitions is key to supporting their positive education transitions. Partnership between home and the early learning and care setting can greatly support positive transitions. In our work as early years inspectors, we have observed that when early years practitioners work in partnership with parents, to facilitate children's education transitions in a sensitive, responsive and thoughtful manner, then children's experience of transitions can be positive and joyous. In summary, a transition is the process of moving from one situation to another. Allowing children time to adjust and helping them to understand and prepare for transitions actively supports their social and emotional development and learning. We will now look at how you, in partnership with your child's early learning and care setting, can plan for and support their education transitions. The first transition we will focus on is the transition a child makes when joining the early learning and care setting for the first time. Inspectors have noted that many early learning and care settings have effective methods in place for communicating general information and procedures with parents. It is useful to link in with the early learning and care setting, either in a face-to-face -face manner where possible, or by email or phone call prior to your child's transition. Ask them to provide some practical information about the routines in the setting. This will support you and your child to become familiar with what to expect 
before they make this major transition. Inspectors frequently find that many settings have wonderful parent handbooks or photographic information leaflets that will support conversations between you and your child about the transition. Such resources can encourage your child to share their feelings about the upcoming transition and express their thoughts and their queries. As previously mentioned, this is a major transition that may evoke feelings of both excitement and apprehension. So providing a warm and secure space for your child to express and discuss their fears or indeed enthusiasm will further support their transition into the early learning and care setting. Sharing information about your child with the early learning and care setting will support continuity in their experiences. Inspectors have noted that in high quality settings, early years practitioners record information about the child's family members, their likes, their interests, to provide meaningful experiences for the children as they settle in. Many early learning and care settings ask parents to provide family photographs and they invite parents to participate in various activities in the setting. By meeting such requests, you will promote your child's sense of identity and belonging in the setting, which will further support them to develop resilience during the transition process. Many of the ways to support your child joining a session for the first time can also support a child who is returning to their early learning and care setting. Inspectors have noted that many early learning and care settings use social media and electronic messaging very effectively to communicate with parents. Where possible, connect with your child's early learning and care setting to establish the plans in place for the return of your child. This will provide both you and your child with useful and necessary information that will prepare you both for the transition back into the early learning and care setting. When returning to the setting, it is important that you provide up-to-date information about your child to their designated key person. Some time has passed in which your child's individual learning needs, interests and experiences may have changed. By sharing this information, your child's key person can make adjustments to the room or plan for relevant experiences that will meet their individual needs. Another beneficial way to support your child's return to their early learning and care setting is by talking to them about their expectations of returning to the setting. Have they any concerns? Will they be returning to the same room with the same early years practitioners and friends or to a new room? What will that be like? It is important to take every opportunity to share clear information with your child about any new processes that will be in place when they return to their setting. Discussing these changes with your child in advance of their return will allow them time to process the information and build their confidence. The transition to primary school can evoke feelings of both nervousness and excitement. There are many books, videos and online resources which can be very useful to familiarise your child with the transition to school. By using these resources, you can engage in conversations with your child and discover what their expectations about school are. Such rich discussions will help your child to form their own views, develop new vocabulary and express their feelings about the transition to primary school. Encouraging and supporting play at home will help your child to work through their understanding and feelings about going to school. Role play is a really good way to support this, as children can enjoy exploring the roles of the teacher and the child. Celebrate the end of the preschool year with your child and involve them in preparation for school. Inspectors frequently note that settings have end of year events, sports days, and graduations that parents are invited to attend. These events celebrate the end of the year and bring your child's preschool experience to a close. They are of great benefit. Where these events do not take place, you could mark the end of your child's preschool experience at home. This will help your child to understand and accept the subsequent transition to primary school. 
You can involve your child in the preparation for school by, for example, letting them choose their school bag, their lunchbox and their pencil case. Being involved in these decisions will help your child to feel in control and involved in the transition. It will also build their resilience, helping them to cope with the changes ahead. Inspectors have found that many high quality early learning and care settings collaborate with primary schools to enhance the transition experience for children. You may have been asked to contribute to the sharing of information regarding your child's learning using the Mushscale reporting template. Junior infants teachers can use this valuable information to support your child as they transition to school. Here is some further information and some resources which may support you and your child through their education transitions. This brings us to the close of this webinar and we would like to thank you for listening. We hope it provides use useful information. If you have any queries or comments, please contact us on insights underscore info at education.gov.ie. Thank you. Mm -hmm.